so I was very happy to realize that I received the Nobel Prize. It's uh, the highest recognition of science. And it shows or symbolizes what you try to accomplish has been recognized, which is really nice. Okay, so people who try to go to science have to realize that it is a very hard task. Okay, if they want to do it, they have to love what they do and to keep at it even if they feel or somebody tells them that what they do is not necessarily correct. So science is a wonderful profession, but it's not easy and you have to keep doing what you do and to believe, it, believe in it and enjoy it. Okay, so I obviously did not do him on becoming a scientist and uh, did not even know what is a Nobel Prize. I always, uh, let's say, want to be first in whatever I'm doing, uh, regardless of what it is. In the kibbutz, uh, it's a little harder. I mean, you study, but you don't study too much science. If you are competitive, you try to go ahead. So the idea of uh, getting Nobel Prize occurred to me. I always try to do the best in what I'm doing and also to enjoy it. I never uh, plan anything. I, I want to study in university. I never in my life made research of which direction I want to go to. I even told my daughters who always try to figure out what course they want to take that it does not matter because you really would not know what will become important in the future. So, not that anybody listened to me, but this is my advice. So I always try to be the best in what I did and it happened that eventually it becomes science and then it becomes really interesting. So it's not by any early design. Every field where you want to do new things it will be difficult, especially if what you do is different than what other people are doing. And of course, I had a lot of difficulty with all my papers because always people assume that it's different, so it cannot be correct. My daughter is expert in conflict uh, communication, and uh, her conclusion is that it does not work too well. So, uh, actually, a lot of the advances are not done or work by communication, by cooperation, and by many people. Many of the advances in, come, in science are done by few people who push ahead, and other people trying later to compete with them. So from my experience, this field was, all the original work was driven by one or two people, and not by a big concern or many people doing the same. It just does not work in this way. Essentially, the main difficulty of the early computers was that you could submit only one or two jobs a day, and, you, and there was a chance that you will drop the cards. I mean, you have punch cards, and so you did not get the results, you didn't find that you made a mistake in programming until the next day. This was the only difficulty. Okay, this pro by the way, this program is now, part of the program is now called Charm or Amber or whatever. I mean, people took the program and called them other names. And it is being used in uh, pharmaceutical companies to try to design drugs. Uh, I'm using it to try to look for drug resistance and for understanding the main direction that I think the program could be useful is to understand how enzyme works, how receptor works, and uh, there is the assumption that if you understand better, you could design better product. If you are in biopharmaceutical or bioengineering, you could design better enzymes. So 
there are two forms of uh, applications. One is to understand better how different system works. The other is to try to, after you understand, to see how you control the system. 대학에 갔다는 점, 그래서 좀더 성숙해졌다는 점, 어 그리고 이제 좀 어려운 점이 있었다면은 제가.